Yo, today I wanted to touch on a subject that actually has been on my mind as of recently. Sega recently dropped a new short prologue pertaining to the events before Sonic Frontiers. With the prologue mostly centering around Knuckles and the Angel Island, it's interesting to think about what this could mean for the story of the game. With Sonic Frontiers on the horizon, we've been seeing bits and pieces about the game that may give us an idea about the entirety of the game's plot. The Starfall Islands, for example, bring a brand new environment to the Sonic universe. As Sonic finds himself traversing through these new and strange islands, it really brings up the question, what are the Starfall Islands, and how the heck do they correlate to the stoic echidna, Knuckles? As we take a look at the prologue, we can see Knuckles standing by the Master Emerald, guarding it as usual. Specifically, he seems to express his thoughts about his loneliness and how he's able to do his job on his own without the help of others. One really interesting part I found about this portion of the video has to be his recollection of his ancestors, Takal and the Echidna tribes, and his duty to protect the Master Emerald. I just want to note that adding this scene in the prologue was a really nice decision on their part, and props to Tyson Hess for making this scene very nostalgic for the older players. Anyway, this scene pushes me to believe that the Chaos Emeralds are going to have some kind of purpose in this game, and we've actually already seen this just from some of the trailers and demos we received. The Chaos Emeralds becoming a key factor in the story of the game really excites me, because we haven't really seen this since 2011 when Sonic Generations released. As we move on through the prologue, Knuckles travels through the Angel Island, making it up to the Sky Sanctuary, where we actually get to see the Chows living there. Once again, just a really nice touch. As Knuckles makes it higher into the sanctuary, we see he finds a strange relic. Something that is definitely old, ancient even. When he discovers the object, and an old structure in the distance, he checks it out, only to be weirdly transported to another place, to which we can obviously assume is the Starfall Islands. Now, if we were to be merely skip over this and, you know, just not pay attention to much that's happening, we wouldn't get much. But if we actually pay close attention, we can see that the structure that teleported Knuckles is obviously just like the structures that we've seen in the Sonic Frontiers trailer, specifically the ones that seem to teleport Sonic to the cyberspace levels, the new levels that we've gotten in this game. Now what's interesting here is that these structures obviously seemed like they were able to teleport people to the cyberspace levels and back. But this one teleported Knuckles to the Starfire Islands from the Sky Sanctuary. Now it begs the question, is the cyberspace another dimension completely, or is it simply just a broken version of the Sonic world that we know today? It's honestly kind of hard to say right now, and I don't really know an answer. But from playing the games, I think we're going to be able to find that out ourselves, which is really nice. Now going back to Knuckles, once he was teleported, he was actually ambushed by Sage, who from our understanding seems to be the main antagonist of the game. She shows a great deal of power that even Knuckles couldn't handle, and then eventually Knuckles was captured and trapped on the Starfall Islands. In this scene, however, we hear Knuckles recalling similar lines to what he said in the beginning of the short, basically talking about how he doesn't have to rely on anyone anymore. Having Knuckles say this at this tragic part of the short does contradict itself and may be the trigger as to how the game actually ends up starting. I'm actually really interested in how we find how Amy and Tails get trapped there as well, so maybe this is a hint towards that. There still seems to be a lot of questions that are unanswered for us, like how Sonic gets to the Starfire Islands, or how the Chaos Emeralds have a low role in the story, or even as big as the fact that the Starfire Islands and Sky Sanctuary seem to be connected, given the number of times we've seen it in the various trailers we've received. All these questions will be answered shortly, and hopefully we can solve the mysteries of the Starfire Islands very soon. I'm very excited to see what Sonic Frontiers brings to us fans, and hopefully, hopefully, this will be a redemption arc for our blue blur Sonic the Hedgehog. If you guys enjoyed the video, why don't you guys leave a like and subscribe. If you got anything you guys want to see us cover on the channel, just let us know, and you know, we'll be glad to do it. Maybe check it out, you already know. Um, we're glad to respond to all comments, you guys already know that. But yeah, that's pretty much us. Until next time, peace.